Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be taking a look at this Sony RGB monitor. So what we've got here is a Sony KX14CP1 Trinitron RGB monitor, which I've owned for a few months now. And I saw one of these monitors at a local computer meet and I thought it was really cool. I believe it was hooked up to an Apple II running composite at the time, but as you can see here it accepts multiple inputs including SCART, and I really like how the inputs are all on the side here. It's also PAL and NTSC capable, which is very useful. I was fortunate enough to come across one of these displays, as a local TV station had gotten rid of a bunch of equipment including this, and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to own a Trinitron RGB display like this one. I've cleaned it up and removed a few tatty stickers and a bit of glue that was on it, and for its age I'd say it looks in pretty good condition. Now if I'm right, this was made in 1986, and was originally paired with a Sony HitBit MSX2 computer. We'll be hooking up an original PlayStation over SCART for this video to show how it looks, and I'll grab another system for composite. I always find with CRTs that you need to see them in person to properly appreciate them, and I'd say by far this is one of the best displays I've ever seen, barring a Trinitron PVM. This is the first time I've tried to film a CRT properly. I'm using a Canon 60D with all the correct settings for capturing CRT footage. I'll be zooming in to try and show how sharp the image is, but I can't guarantee the capture will be perfect, so I'm hoping this will be a good enough demonstration to give an idea on the image quality. I've got a few RGB displays lying around here, including a larger Sony Trinitron and some older computer monitors, but I'd say this one here is the best and really has to be seen in person. I know the camera will pick up some unwanted effects sadly, but I'll do my best to do this display justice. When looking at text, you can appreciate how sharp the picture is, and even a 3D game like Crash Bandicoot just looks great. As you can imagine, 2D games look really nice, and we can see that with Rayman here. Everything is crisp and colourful. So what about composite video? I've used a few systems on this display with composite, and I'd say it looks very good considering. I'm playing Gradius 2 here on a modified Nintendo Famicom, so we're seeing NTSC composite on screen. When we focus in, you can see that it's surprisingly sharp, but still has the usual composite video traits. Considering we're zoomed in, I think the picture holds up not too bad, but you can't escape the blurry quality as colours bleed into each other. My original plan for this little Sony was to use it with my older computers that don't have their own display, as a sort of generic jack of all trades monitor. But I found myself testing all my systems and games on this thing, just to see how they'd look on it. It's quite amazing how much excitement a 30 year old CRT can bring. Now I know it's been a while since I did any hardware related videos, I have been meaning to do some other restorations and projects, but I've just been putting them off a little bit, and in honesty I'd prefer a much better setup for filming with a nicer space and camera. I did have a few broken systems I wanted to share, but the fixes were so straightforward I didn't think it was even worth making a video on a video on these things when some repairs have been connecting a single broken wire uh, in some cases. 
I do have a few things piled up now though, so I'd like to get to work on them. I hope you've enjoyed checking out this little Sony display. I've been wanting to do some CRT capture footage for a while now, so I thought this would be a good chance to fire it up and just sort of show it off a little bit. Hopefully I can improve CRT recordings in the future, and I'd like to record a few other displays that I've got around the place. For now, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.